all these beloved pictures of schools are from District 64, but how did they actually start? Well, you'll figure it out today on BR7 Live. Hello, and welcome to BR7 Live on WEMS News. I am your co-host, Salma. I am your co-host, Nina. And today we are figure we are investigating the big question. How did D64 start? Tune in today to find out on BR7 Live. To find the answer to this question, we had to do some digging, and here's what we found. We found out that no one person in particular founded D64, but the first few teachers were R.W. Gunnison, Miss Augusta Meacham, and George A. Fonsby. When did it start, you may ask? Well, it started in 1902 when District 2 became School District 64. Then in 1948, another smaller district known as District 64 and a half merged with District 64. When District 64 and a half merged with District 64, the newly combined district became known as Community Consolidated School District 64. Today, they are officially known as Park Ridge Niles Community Consolidated School District 64, or CCSD 64. But why, you ask, did it start? The village of Brickton, which is now Park Ridge, had the only school in District 2, a one-room schoolhouse. But in the 1880s and 90s, Brickton was changing from a farming community to a business community, and pretty soon, there were many schools. That's all for now on Curious D64. We hope this segment of D64 answered your question, and shout out to Brianna T for asking it. If you have a question, post it to Curious D64. Bye! Special thanks for Mr. Peter Gill for answering these questions. He has been an information coordinator for Park Ridge Niles Community Consolidated School District 64 for about 14 months. Tune in for next time in Curious D64.